हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इंडिया राइज एज अ स्पेस सुपर पावर द इनक्रेडिबल स्टोरी ऑफ स्पैडिक्स स्पेस डॉकिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट ओ वाओ अच्छा वो ई एक्स इज फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट ये बिल्कुल ठीक इन्होंने लिखा है नहीं तो लोग एस पी ए पूरा सब कुछ बड़ा बड़ा लिख रहे हैं ना मुझे लगता है ये करेक्ट तरीका होगा एस पी ए विल बी प्रॉब्ली फॉर स्पेस डी एक् डी इज फॉर डॉक एंड ई एक्स इज फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट पर इसमें ये नहीं समझ में आया कि ई छोटा और एक्स अच्छा बड़ा इसलिए करा होगा क्योंकि नहीं तो वो डी और ई में कंफ्यूजन हो जाएगा मतलब देखिए टर्मिनोलॉजी तरीका तो, क्या होगा करेक्ट लिखने का मैं तो वो सोच रही या इंडिया ने अपनी टर्मिनोलॉजी बनाई है दैट्स ओके बेसिकली स्पेस डॉकिंग का एक्सपेरिमेंट है आ, पर लिखना लिखना yeah. कैसे चाहिए सारा कुछ कैपिटल में या जिस तरह से इन्होंने लिखा है विच इज द करेक्ट टेक्निक मुझे वो पता करनी है hmm. तो अगर आपको पता हो तो जरूर बताना कैपिटल में सारा होना चाहिए कि एस जैसे इन्होंने लिखा है वैसे होना चाहिए पर वॉट सक्सेस मिल जाए मजा आ जाएगा मिलेगी सक्सेस हाँ, मिले मैं तो मैं तो उसी की प्रे कर रही हूँ कि भैया हमने इतनी मेहनत की होगी बार बार उसको टेस्ट किया होगा यहाँ अर्थ पे ही तो मजा आएगा पर मुझे ये देखना है कि दसवें दिन पे होगा क्या क्योंकि अरे दस दिन लगेंगे तो चलो यार पहले वीडियो देखते हैं वीडियो शुरू करते हैं वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो जल्दी से पहले सब्सक्राइब के बटन और बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे सारे न्यू वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए जैसे हम अपलोड करें आपको वीडियो पसंद आता है प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर चलिए शुरू करते हैं और दूसरे दो चैनल उनको भी सब्सक्राइब कर लेना लिंक से डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में वहाँ पे भी आपके रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियोज आ रहे हैं On 13th December 2024, India launched a mission that will go down as one of the most historic moments in our space journey. This mission is the SpaceX mission. The Indian Space Agency (ISRO) is gearing up for an exciting mission. ISRO वो काम करने वाला है जो उसने आज तक कभी नहीं किया. Prepares to launch its groundbreaking space mission. SpaceX. 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 Today it is so hard to believe how far we have come. Once while the Soviets and Americans were racing to the moon and building their space empires, we in India were fighting to feed our people and rebuild our country. While the Americans were sending astronauts to walk on the moon, we were transporting satellite parts on our bullet carts. While the Soviets were showcasing their space stations, we were waiting in line to use second hand equipment from these powerful nations. But today as the SpaceX rocket roars into the sky, it carries more than just payloads. It carries the hopes and dreams of 1.4 billion Indians. गगनयान गगनयान जब अंतरिक्ष में जाएगा हिंदुस्तानी लेकर के जाएगा हिंदुस्तान के वैज्ञानिकों के द्वारा हुआ हिंदुस्तान के पुरुषार्थ के द्वारा हुआ होगा तब विश्व के अंदर हम चौथे देश बन जाएंगे सर मोदी जी का विशेष है वो चाहते हैं सब तभी हो रहा है तो पहले कब क्या होगा India is not just launching a rocket it is launching itself into the elite club of space mm. ferry giants mm. this club includes only three nations mm. as of now the united states russia and china and now india is going to be a part of this elite club a technology which has been mastered only by russia america and china it will be the first of its kind for india and proving that india is ready for even more ambitious projects india is entering into a completely new domain the spadex mission is india's call to the future a future where our children will look at the sky not as a limit but as a playground and as the rocket breaks through the clouds it carries the weight of history and the promise of a better tomorrow the world has watched america and russia rule the space for decades mm. but now it's india's turn to lead yes. and lead we will with the boldness of a billion hearts beating as one this is not just a launch This is a moment that says India has risen and we are never looking back. The question is why is this spadex launch such a big deal for India? How will this experiment work and how will it change the face of India? This video is brought to you by Communication Masterclass course. Are you a shy and introverted kind of person? Do you get anxious to speak it out in front of people? दूसरा होगा वो reusable चाहिए ये क्राफ्ट. If you get an interview when you do not get the rocket भेजने हैं अगला reusable चाहिए. Then you must join our communicate. You will learn how to speak with clarity to master story boost your confidence. The best part is I'll be conducting 26 lives. 
So if you're ready to take your commit, transform their lives with the communication masterclass course, and I will see you. Chalo, let's start from the basics and see what exactly is this SpaceX mission. People, the SpaceX mission stands for Space Talking Experiment, mm. and it is by far the most historic step in India's journey of space exploration. And here's what is going to happen in this launch: ISRO is going to launch a rocket with two important satellites in it. Each of these satellites weigh 220 kgs. While one is called the Chaser, the other is called the Target. Now, when the rocket goes up. These satellites will be launched in space in different directions to keep them 10 to 20 kilometers apart, and both these satellites will start traveling at a staggering speed of 28,800 kilometers per hour or 8 lakh centimeters per second. Now, do you realize these satellites will move almost 10 times faster than a bullet? And while mm-hmm. traveling at this staggering speed, ISRO is going to make them do something absolutely crazy. ISRO is going to make them do a space handshake. So here's what will happen next. These two satellites, while traveling at twenty-eight thousand eight hundred kilometers per hour, they will coordinate their movement using thrusters in such a way that the relative speed yeah. will come down to just zero point zero three six kilometer per hour, as mm-hmm. in just one yeah. centimeter per second. Which means, if the chaser is moving at eight lakh centimeters per second, the target will move at seven lakh ninety nine thousand nine ninety nine centimeters per second. And this, my dear friends, उस वाली भी मतलब उसने कुछ और बोला था. Because even the smallest distance calculation. 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 Because analyze every millimeter of movement even the micro angle of movement in such a way that both these satellites can latch on to each other mm. this act is called docking and this docking maneuver is so delicate and so unbelievably complex that even the smallest mistake could end it all in a flash and when these two satellites no, will lock together to out there in the vast so not dock and come back a little bit it's not just a docking it blast. is india shaking hands with its destiny and when the stars look down on us tonight they They won't see a poor country. They will see of a course. rising superpower. What important is the next Mariah. question? Why are we spending so much money to dock these satellites together? And what is the advantage that this experiment is about to give us? The first challenge that this dock will solve looking. for is the satellite launch cost. Did you know today when a satellite runs out of fuel or develops a technical glitch, we have no choice but to launch a brand new satellite. Now, mind you, each satellite launch today is so costly that it costs us anywhere between thirty to forty thousand dollars per kilo of payload. Mm. So, if you launch a two hundred kilo satellite with an average cost of thirty five thousand dollars per kilo, it will cost us seven million dollars or fifty six crore yeah, rupees. And a polar satellite launch vehicle costs us two hundred to two fifty crores. But by mastering docking, India can send up a specialized repair or refuel vehicle which can service these satellites in the orbit itself. Yeah, right. And if we succeed in this yeah, experiment, so we can service these satellites and extend their lifespans by five long years. So this mission will make Indian satellite missions far more economical yeah. and competitive. Secondly, it gives us the superpower to launch our own space station, which we are calling the. Bharat Antariksh mm. Station or mm. BAS this mm. space station is going to be launched by wow. 2035 sure. but here's the problem you see the space station is almost like a building and you can't launch the entire space station in mm. one piece you have to launch all the pieces separately puzzle ki tarah se usko lagao these pieces are supposed to be assembled together so every piece has to be kitna sab kuch aana kar chuka hai uska pura ban chuka hai kya talking and the spacex mission is being executed over this scale and more importantly oh, no, no, no. once we have a space station it again pushes us to the cutting edge of science and technological research yeah. on top of that by 2040 mm. india is planning to send an indian astronaut mm. to the moon mm. and with chandrayaan 4 we aim to bring back lunar samples both of these missions will require precise docking technology this is a second superpower that spacex mission will give us now you guys might be wondering why is a business channel like think school talking about space exploration <laughs> well this brings me to the third superpower that spacex mission gives us which is the growth of space business ecosystem in india mm. ladies and gentlemen spacex is perhaps the most critical event for both investors and entrepreneurs because it sends out three loud messages to the business ecosystem of india the first message is the historic public private partnership in the space sector of india for
for the first time ever a private indian company assembled satellites for an isro mission this company is called anant technologies mm. this sends out a clear message to the venture capitalists that india is now open to private businesses in space the second message is for the space entrepreneurs of india did you know that the indian government has already announced a rollout of 1000 crore rupees in funding for space startups across five wow. years and even Good. vcs are pouring in billions of dollars into the space sector of india these happenings have triggered a massive surge of space startups in india from just 11 startups in 2019 to 250 startups in 2024 the indian space sector is growing faster mm. than ever and lastly india is importing a lot of important space mission materials from us and europe at the moment mm. we import carbon fiber reinforcement polymers from china mm. and the united states we import gallium arsenide solar cells from the us mm. and we import cryogenic engine materials from russia mm. so there is a clear message by the indian government that we need to be self reliant and we need to substitute these imports with home grown technologies Welcome. so any startup that succeeds in this mission will get the support of both the vcs and the godfather which is the government of india and this brings us to the last question which is what the foreign media often keeps asking us they say that while india has so <laughs> many poor people That's why you. is so? india launching satellites so to these media houses i have to tell you that when you have to progress also it seems like you need to be educated more than the very people that you presume to lecture and since your government has not educated you enough let me do that explanation for you let me explain why yeah. india space program is not a luxury but a necessity you see firstly india space technology is directly tied to the welfare of its people take isro satellites for an example they monitor weather patterns predict cyclones and help evacuate millions of people in time in fact in 2019 when cyclone fanny hit India saved over 1 million lives because of satellite based disaster management. Secondly, satellite communication is supporting financial inclusion in India. It connects 1.25 lakh VSAT ATMs in India to the internet and annually this allows 5 billion ATM transactions. And lastly, satellite driven precision agriculture helps farmers by forecasting monsoons and it helps them optimize crop planning this benefits over 120 million small scale farmers in india many of whom depend on accurate data to survive so satellites are not a waste of money they are life saving and they are necessary for the people of india and for every 1 rupee that isro gets oh, it yeah. gives back 2.5 rupees to the people of india mm. so i think you should stop worrying about the hungry people in india <laughs> and you should take care of the drug addicts in your own country <laughs> this is the vision challenge and progress of india in the space sector with this mission which is called the spadex mission and i just hope you learned something valuable from this case study that's all from my side for today guys if you learned something valuable please make sure to the like button in order to make youtube baba happy and for more such insightful business and political case studies please subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye bye isme ye clear hua hai ki dono move kar rahi hongi एंड फिर डॉक क्यों होगी क्योंकि अभी हमने yeah. किया था प्रशांत धवन का वीडियो उसमें ये बोला था जहां तक मेरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है आप जाके देख लेना मुझे लगा था कि उसमें ये बोला गया कि एक खड़ी रहेगी और दूसरी जो है टारगेट जो है खड़ी रहेगी और चेजर जो है वो जाके मूव करेगा नाम के हिसाब से शायद लगा होगा कि भैया टारगेट रुकेगा चेजर चेज करके लगेगा ऐसी चीज नहीं होती कि आप मतलब ऑर्बिट में रहेंगे ना चौबीस घंटे तो आप ऑर्बिट में ही रिलेटिवली आपको लग रहा होगा कम मूव कर रहा है बट दोनों के दोनों मूव कर करेंगे रिलेटिव टू ईच अदर धीरे धीरे कम होंगे और ऐसा नहीं है कि दोनों से बैंक के ब्लास्ट हो जाएगा वो धीरे से आएंगे बहुत ही स्लो स्पीड से टच करेंगे नहीं डॉक हुआ वापस जाएंगे अगेन देर गोनो अटेम्प टू डॉकिंग So, कई बार अटेम्प्ट करेंगे डॉक में इवेंचुअली डॉक हो जाएगा दैट इज कई मूवियों में आपने देखा होगा हॉलीवुड की कितनी मूवीज में ये डॉकिंग दिखाया गया है मुझे याद है जब फर्स्ट टाइम देखा तो मैं बड़ी इंप्रेस हुई थी मेरे को बॉय और ये तो बड़ी कमाल का टेक्निक और अच्छी जैसे वही कह रहे हैं ना देखिए चालीस साल पहले जो और कंट्रीज ने किया था फाइनली इंडिया कर रहा है क्योंकि बहुत क्रिटिकल है बहुत अपना स्पेस स्टेशन बना हाँ, अपनी ताकत दिखानी है दुनिया को अगर आप चाइना से कम्पीट करो चाइना का ऑलरेडी स्पेस स्टेशन हाँ, बना हुआ है आपको अपना बनाना बनाने? है वो अपने एस्ट्रोनॉट्स को भेज चुका है स्पेस में आपको भेजने हैं ट्वेंटी फोर्टी में तो अभी दस साल पीछे चल रहे हैं बट आप ये देखिए चौथी कंट्री है मतलब इतना डिफिकल्ट काम है कि और कंट्री सारी पीछे है स्पेशली इसको शौक सिर्फ लगा होगा यूरोप को और जापान को इसका शौक लगा होगा क्योंकि वो पीछे हो गए अब अब हो गया उनको लगता है चौथे हम होंगे पता लगा नहीं चौथी इंडिया है वो हैरान तो होंगे सबसे ज्यादा शौक उन लोगों को है जो अचीव नहीं कर पाए बिल्कुल तो चलो आप भी शेयर करना अपने थॉट्स चलते हैं मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बहुत ही जल्द टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय बाय तो अगर आप मेरे इस चैनल पे नए हो तो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब के बटन को 
हिट करो और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया वीडियो में लगाऊं आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी से पता चल जाए